Great is Our God. Devotional readings for adults written by Fernando Zabala being read by Deshaun Chung. Day 50. Haven't you noticed? Passage of scripture comes to us from Genesis chapter 28, verse 16. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. The same thing happened to Jacob, the biblical patriarch, that so often happens to you and me. We believe we are alone without God when we are actually alone but with God. When do we feel alone without God, especially after we have sinned? The great news is that our Heavenly Father does not abandon us when we need Him the most. Jacob's experience after deceiving his father Isaac into giving him the birthright teaches precisely that precious truth. We know the details of the story. After deceiving his father and brother, Jacob had to flee to Aaron to save his life. According to the book of Patriarchs and Prophets, during his journey, Jacob was so troubled by his shameful conduct that he even feared that the God of his fathers had cast him off. One night, while he was asleep, Jacob dreamed of a ladder that with one end touched the earth and with the other the sky. He also heard the voice of God who said to him, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and your descendants. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. Genesis 28, verse 13 and 15. Great must have been Jacob's surprise. Having sinned, he believed that heaven was far from him. But in the dream, God revealed to him that he was very close. So close that Jacob said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. Verse 16. Had Jacob been alone while he was fleeing, that is, alone without God, he had never been alone. Despite his sin, God had not abandoned him. Why doesn't God abandon us even when we have sinned? Because the Savior will never abandon one for whom he has died. Unless his followers choose to leave him, he will hold them fast. This Desire of Ages, chapter 52, page 480. When you have sinned and are inclined to believe that God has abandoned you, Remember that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. 1 Timothy 1 verse 15. That is, to save people like you and me. In few words, this means that God has not abandoned you. And he never will. He's very close to you right now. Haven't you noticed? Thank you, Jesus, because despite my failures, you have not abandoned me and you never will. How encouraging it is to know that you never abandon a soul for which you died on the cross.